Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the posting of our colors. The mission, the mission of the Quilts of Valor is to cover service members and veterans touched by war with comforting and healing Quilts of Valor. A Quilt of Valor is not a charity quilt. A Quilt of Valor is not a blanket. And a Quilt of Valor cannot be sold or cannot be bought. The Foundation's hope for these quilts is to become family heirlooms. Today, since 2003, the Quilts of Valor Foundation has awarded 299,000 Quilts of Valor. If we was to add them all up, even the ones that weren't reported, it would be more like 500,000. 500,000 veterans receiving these. Um, so today, I recognize Congressman Michael Walsh as Quilts of Valor 300,000 honorary quilt. This is the 300th honorary quilt. So you're getting this for two reasons. <laughs> so we're doing this for two reasons. So I wanted to make sure that that was one of our milestones. This is a huge, um, huge milestone for the foundation. This amazing achievement is because of the hard work and dedication of over 10,000 Quilts of Valor members and quilters like you that make these quilts from your quilt gift. And I, I want to say a big thank you to all of you Quilts of Valor was part of a 2021 Wrapped Up in Christmas Hope Quilt Challenge, partnering with the Hallmark Publishing and author Janice Lynn down here on the right. We partnered with her. She was, this was her third book that she wrote for, um, she wrote this about a soldier receiving his Quilt of Valor. And well, if you wanna know what happens to the soldier, you gotta read her book, okay? So stop over to the booth today and we'll, um, she'll talk to you about it, okay? Um, this quilt was a labor of love. And like many of you quilters here today, every quilt has a story, right gals? 11 months ago, I was prepared for a brain tumor surgery. I was getting nervous and the what ifs started going through my mind. I had a couple weeks left before my surgery. I visited the Quilts of Valor Foundation page to be inspired of the stories of perseverance and what our veterans have gone through. And I found this Quilt of Valor contest on the website. I love challenges and I work great under deadlines and pressure. So three weeks to make this quilt, I'm like, sure, I can do this. I kept my mind busy. <laughs> I started working on the pattern. I pieced the top and I quilted it. Sharon and um, Joey helped put all the math together for me. It was all teamwork and illustrations. Um, my husband was taking me to Mayo Clinic, and on the way to Mayo Clinic, these gals were putting the quilt in the mail to ship it off to be judged. Quilting is so therapeutic, and in the final weeks of my surgery, I named the quilt Stars of Hope, because that's what came to my mind. And I prayed that the soldier that received this quilt would find much comfort and healing. Moments before I was wheeled into the OR, I thought of my family, and I thought of my faith, and I thought of this quilt and what it meant to me personally. If I was to die on that operating table that, more, that day, my, the last thing I did on earth was to make a quilt of valor. My heart was happy and it was content. 
I can relate to some of the ways that our, our soldiers go through, the perseverance, the sacrifices, and being a fighter for causes bigger than ourselves is what makes us all stronger. I nominate our Congressman Michael Waltz for this quilt of valor for two reasons. He serves his country with honor and he cares about others. I still have the voicemail that you sent me on March 1st telling me that this was a pause in life and that he was praying for me and I would be back to quilting. Here I am. Michael Waltz is a congressman, is a combat decorated Green Beret still serving as a colonel in the U.S. Army National Guard, a former White House and Pentagon policy advisor. He is the first Green Beret to serve in Congress. Congressman Waltz graduated with honors as a distinguished military graduate and has over 24 years in the Army. After commission as an Army Lieutenant, he graduated from Ranger School and he was selected to be a Green Beret serving worldwide as Special Forces Officer with multiple tours to Afghanistan, the Middle East, and Africa. For his actions in combat, Waltz was decorated with four bronze stars, including two with valor. He is the author of The Warrior Diplomat. On behalf of the Quilt of Valor Foundation, we want to award you, Congressman, this Quilt of Valor, made with lots of love for you, sir. You're welcome. And we want to, we want to wrap you in this quilt, okay? This is your quilt. We want you to use it. You go read the wash machine, cuddle up with it. Quilts equal healing, don't they, folks? Homemade quilts. They do. Can I get a picture with him? Of course. There. We can. Yeah, yeah. We gave you the pattern, too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So. You know, Terry was saying this is therapeutic from combat. I think I'm going to wear it up in Congress. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold up there. Maybe if we. Maybe if we got all a Congress quilting, we, we would be in a better... Be in a better yeah, it would be very therapeutic for them all. I, I'll help them if yeah. you want to. Okay, so we have, our, we have a certificate for the congressman, and we also have a... I know he has these in his office, the um, coins. That's okay. I w I'll see you again. General Audino's on the list to get a quilt. Okay? No, you're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give one to General Audino, too. This is yours, sir. This is what I wrote, my little blah blah today, yeah. and this is the pattern, okay? Thank you, Terry. You're welcome. And this is the last thing you saw. 